Robert Krieger uh, today is in this one from the Institute of Okay. Well, I would like to thank the organizers for organizing this uh, interesting meeting. And uh, uh, thanks for speak uh, about a recent work. And this uh, this is joint work with uh, uh, two two pe uh, young people. Uh, one is uh, Stephen Lee, and the other is Benson. Okay, so it's, uh, uh, the title is uh, 235 Distributions and Contact Line. So I recall uh, what, what is 235 distribution, and then later I explain what is uh, a contact line. So 235 distribution. Uh, this is uh, the work on five dimensional numbers. Uh, you can consider it over real numbers, but for me, everything is holomorphic. And I only work on holo complex manifolds. So I need the complex manifold. The, many of this can be carried out over real numbers in other settings, but I think the, the holomorphic setting is the case which where this is most uh, simplest. Okay, so n is a complex manifold of dimension phi. And then a distribution. The sub one tangent one uh, is two three phi. If uh, you have the sequence B and B, so this uh, uh, derivation of D means that the bundles are uh, spent by Li brackets of sections of D and this. Uh, so you have this uh, sequence of vector bundles uh, as it have ranks. Two, three, and five. So that's the name. It's two, three, five distribution. And then uh, we use the following notation for point on N, root uh, ID. Uh, this means uh, vector fields. In the neighborhood, why these are in so This is local automorphism, infinitesimal automorphism of the distribution. But I, I also only consider holomorphic vector pairs, which locally preserve this. So this is a real graph. Well, this is small. Yeah, but it looks like the right? That's the vector system, not the constant, right? I'm saying vector field, Yes, 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 yes. It's just in some neighborhood. Jaw move vector field. And then this object was studied by Katang in a famous paper in the more than 100 years ago. And he studied especially the this symmetry of this automorphism algebra. And what he showed was the following. There are many results, but I, I will only uh, discuss the following. The dimension of this is finite. And uh, in fact, this is uh, 14 or the dimension must be And most seven. So that's what proved. And then, um, if the dimension is mm -hmm. 
in 14, then the Lear algebra is a uh, uh, simple Lear algebra of type G2. And the uh, uh, E uh, is locally equivalent to uh, invariant distribution on homogeneous space. Uh, G2 modulo parabolic wave P1. So this is this parabolic wave. Okay. And then, and in fact, in fact, uh, 235 distribution, uh, this is uh, more or less the same as uh, a parabolic geometry uh, of a parabolic. So it's a curved version of this homogeneous space. And then uh, what he proved next is, then he considers the case where the automorphism as dimension seven, because after 14, the, the sub-maximal case is seven dimensional, then then uh, M, then D is locally equivalent to uh, To one of an, an explicit family. So I'm not going to describe it in detail, but the, the explicit family of homogeneous uh, distribution homogeneous meaning that uh, this automorphism acts transitively at, at, at that point. As uh, something like, let me use this symbol. Some, so you can write down some explicit family of distributions, uh, parameterized by, by except it is, uh, so there's a natural parameter for this family and those are parameters by complex numbers, uh, except these uh, special values. So I'm not gonna describe it explicitly, but they are some family naturally parameters by such complex numbers. Yes, these are all results of Kautang, one, two, three, and four. Uh, the group, okay, I'll explain it later. Uh, there's one more thing uh, which you can't have, have like infinity, which is not in the same. Okay, but it's explicit. It, it, it included here, one case. One, one case is not equal. Well, okay, like, later, like, if, if the dimension is six and uh, this, uh, uh, is uh, transitive, locally homogeneous, so meaning that uh, is uh, generates the tangent space. Then uh, this time almost the same statement. Then D here is locally one of uh, some explicit family, and maybe I write it as D6, because this six-dimensional symmetry. 
and C is in the same range. Later, it was discovered by the group and his collaborator. There's one case missing here, but let's not discuss it. This is what Katan stated. So these are Katan results. So if, I'm adding, okay, sorry. Thank you. So that was what uh, Katan showed, more or less a classification of the uh, 235 distribution with the large automorphism. Now, there are a few questions. There are many questions one can ask. And uh, uh, the work I did with Chip and Dennis, there are several results about 235. But I will mainly uh, concentrate on the following two questions. Question one is three and four. Why are they have the same parameter? Why three and four? Because the way he cut and prove this is by computation in coordinates or exterior uh, differential system computation. And they happen to give this family, but there's no reason why this family and that family are related. They are different algebra and just different dimension and uh, there's no inclusion or whatever. So that's one question, why they have the same parameter. Second question, it's a known, probably Boris, but I don't know, maybe already in our time we think that. Uh, he, yesterday he corrected me because we saw this later, but it's uh, 20, right? Uh, in the case of two, uh, three, this is exactly what uh, Raja asked. The auto, the real libra is isomorphic to which way? Five dimensional hydrogen bomb. One can prove this. For all C, for all parameter value of C, uh, the real algebra is all the same, and they are all uh, C2 semi right product with five dimensional hydrogen bomb group, hydrogen bomb algebra. But why? This is also proved by explicit computation, the real explicitly. Locally, but uh, why is there this line? Because this uh, five dimensional hydrogen bomb does not act transitively on M. This five dimensional M. Uh, actually, they, this hydrogen bomb group has four dimensional orbits. The cohomogeneous one. So why? So that's the second one. And these are things that you want to explain. Okay. Yes. No, you, uh, th yeah, they are all the same. It's SL2 cross SL2. That also needs explanation. So far, our results do not give a good explanation of this, but we will see. I mean, it, it's something to do. I mean, it's a, I think, but that can be done, but we haven't done it yet. Now let's discuss something else. The Lysandrian curve.
what is the resultant and power? I consider four dimensional complex manifold with a symplectic form. Uh, Rapper space. And then uh, it's projectivization C3 as a projectivization of the C4 as a contact structure. Uh, induced by signal. Now, uh, a complex analytic curve. Is a Luzanglian curve. If it is that's the definition. If it is tangent uh, to the contact structure, so this is equivalent saying that uh, the cone of this analytic cone uh, is Lagrangian. With respect the simplex structure. Now I say that uh, let's define this a point. Over Lysandrian path is an inflection point. If uh, the hyperplane and let's use the alpha here. A hyperplane would be orthogonal to that point uh, with respect to simplex form. So these are just the, the hyperplane. Which has the uh, uh, annihilated by uh, the simplex form and the the point alpha. So if the hyperplane has the order of contact bigger than four at that point, uh, when you have a, when you have a Lysandrian curve. Uh, at a smooth point, this order of contact is at least three. But if it's uh, bigger than four, then, uh, at least four, then we say there is an inflection point. But there's a special point of the curve that we will need. And also, we will define the automorphism of uh, the cone. So these are just to uh, endomorphism of C4, such that uh, they preserve this. So this automorphism algebra of the given curve is the linear transformations that preserve this curve. So that's a definition. So we need uh, these two definitions. And uh, we say that, uh, V is a homogeneous for simplicity. We say that it is a homogeneous Lysandrian curve. If uh, this this algebra has dimension, the dimension of this algebra is at least two. The dimension of this algebra is at least one because it contains the identity, the, the scalar multiplication. But if it's bigger than two, then you say it's a homogeneous uh, by abuse of terminology. Uh, it, it means that uh, the automorphism has open orbit on the curve. So that's, so in that sense, it's homogeneous. So these are just definitions.
And then uh, what I proved it then is, is the following. Uh, if G is Rizamdirian uh, cough, spanning PC, so it's not contained in a plane, it's spanning PC, uh, then dimension of this uh, linear automorphism of the curve is four, two, or one. This is homogeneous, and this is non-homogeneous. Yes, yes. Right, right. And then, uh, if the dimension of Autophony G hat is four, then uh, G is a distinct cubic. So the rational normal curve of uh, that's true, that's true, that's true. But it's not this is true also. Rational normal curve of so this part is not body proof. It's just a recall. No mark of degree three. And the more really interesting part is the next one. If the dimension is is two, then V P P is isomorphic. One or an explicit family, family of Luzangurian curves, uh, parametrized by the same parameter, is exactly the same parameter. They, but this classification has nothing to do with the, logically, nothing to do with the pattern two, three, five distribution. It's a completely projective geometry. So the method is uh, follows uses such uh, projective differential geometry. And the linear different OD, the theory of linear OD. Uh, okay, but it's uh, but this uh, suggests something that this parameter is actually coming from this parametrization of uh, homogeneous Lusangrian curve. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know whether it's classified, but it's not a difficult problem, but it's more or less the same as the classification of ODE, right? And we, we, we know, okay, okay, maybe the general case is even more well known, but the Lusangrian case, as far as I know, has not been specified, so. Is not contained in P2. Yeah, not non degenerate. Now uh, look at this. Uh, maybe Lusangrian cone structure. A little bit. Uh, so now X be a five dimensional complexity. 
need a contact structure. And then for each point, uh, there's a simple form. Which is the one dimension. So there's a simple form at each point uh, coming from, from the Lee bracket. The levy form. The levy form is the simplest. A Lusandrian cone structure in X is a uh, six dimensional sub manifold. inside the projectivization of the contact bundle such that this is something I defined here with the medium point such that uh, each fiber is a resembling point. with respect to the simplest form. So each the contact bundle, the fiber of contact bundle is four-dimensional complex manifold, a complex data space with a simplest form. So you have the notion of Lusanglian curve in its creation, as we defined before. And the Lusanglian construct just means that you have a Lusanglian curve at each point inside the uh, project creation of the bundle. Now I introduce what is the contact line. So X is five dimensional and this is contact structure. Then uh, yes. A smooth regional curve. Meaning is the isomorphic to demand sphere, a biholomorphic to demand sphere. Inside X is a contact line. This is what I like to define. If it's normal bundle. And C is isomorphic to MP1. The direct sum of 1, 1, and the 3 trivial chapter. Then I say it's contact line. There's a reason to call it contact line. That, that this is uh, have degree 1 with respect to this the contact line bundle and so on. But let's not discuss the reason. Today, just accept that this is our definition. Contact, these are contact lines. And this in particular implies that uh, tangent space of C is inside the contact uh, distribution. So C is, is horizontal. The contact Call contact for the call.
Now for each point, uh, if, you, if you pick one point on contact line, then because of the form of the normal bundle, uh, there's a one-dimensional deformation. T is some uh, say unit scale, and uh, so C zero is C. So you have a one-dimensional deformation inside the X as a contact line. So in picture you have this is X, then this is C, and you have this X, and it has a one-dimensional deformation like this. So this is C zero, and this is C two. That's because of the normal bundle, the type of normal bundle. And this uh, implies, if you look at the project situation, and, and all of these are tangent to the contact distribution. So if you look at the tangent project deviation of this contact, contact fiber at that point, then uh, there's a curve, there's an analytic curve. This is yes. uh, defined by the tangent of these curves, these contact lines. So this is analytic curve. Mm -hmm. And you can show that uh, under this condition, you can show that this is. C X is a Lisandrian curve. In particular, what's happening is you have uh, the, the contact line on this manifold, and then you can deform this curve on X, the deformations of C. Or the C, cover X, cover on, on open set. This is follow from the type of normal bundle. You can deform that. And then uh, for each point, we know that in PHX, you have this CX. But this can be done at every point. So X prime, you have also PH. You have CX prime. So you have this family of Lysandrian curve. So this gives a uh, Lysandrian construction. So you have a X, H, and you have some something C, such that each fibers are Lysandrian curves. So this way, uh, uh, contact line gives rise to the Zambia So, uh, so today, just the original muscle is normal bundle. This has not, nothing to tell about H. And then you say that that's true, which is the even H. But formulation of that normal bundle is O1 plus. Yes, that, o plus. that is the case, right? Hmm? What do you mean? So, so just formulation of normal bundle is the H, right? Yes, yes. So, so actually, you're producing right? No, no. I'm assuming that X has a contact structure. And but, I mean, you can just say that contact name is something in the Yes, yes. Yes, but as, as soon as you assume there's a contact structure, 
this normal bond must be tangent to the contact. I guess the question is why does it follow if the normal bond is transposed and it's immediately contained? Ah, okay, okay. I think it's, you know, it's yeah, yeah, it's not immediate, but you can prove this. You can reconstruct one that starts just from the tangent. Uh, not always, but okay. yes, but it, under some conditions, yes. yes. But don't worry, don't worry. Just follow the definition. There's a contact structure already, and you can prove it. If you like, let's assume that, uh, let's require that the curve is horizontal to the contact. Then you are happy. So I'll only consider curves which are contact uh, tangent to, so maybe not. I, I just add this, assume also. This follows, but so let's assume. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. This follows from this. Uh, there's a relation between as soon as you have a contact structure, there's a relation between the light, the contact bundle and this uh, tangent bundle. That's the churn number. There's some churn number relation. In degree of determinant of the contact structure must be uh, some power of the canonic and relate to the canonical bundle of the manifold. Yeah. So this uh, follows, in, but let's assume this if you like. Anyway, so as soon as you have a contact line, you have a Lusangrian construct. And this, that's considering its deformation automatically. And uh, now I need uh, some uh, non degeneracy condition. So. And then I say that a contact line is non degenerate. If uh, you have this this Lusangrian curve, and this Lusangrian curve, of course, contains the tangent space of the contact line. So, if uh, is not uh, inflection point. Or uh, the Lisangrian curve. So this is a Lisangrian point curve, and uh, you have a point on it corresponding to the tangent space of the original curve C. And if this uh, point is not an inflection point, then I will call it non degenerate. So in most cases, if you choose sufficiently general. Uh, contact line, then it's uh, non degenerate. That's the technical thing I do. Uh, yes, but uh, okay, good. Uh, actually, it's true that if this is true at one point, then it's true at every point. But let's assume that for some s, for some point, but you can check that this. Uh, doesn't depend on the point. And then here's the result I proved. I will see them again. This uh, has been a while, it's uh, proved in 21. The theorem that uh, if you consider germs of uh, neighborhoods or contact lines, non degenerate contact lines, Uh, in uh, contact manifold, uh, five dimensional contact. So you consider all possible five dimensional contact manifold which contains contact lines, and the the germ of neighborhood of contact lines. 
And then there's a, another site is zones of uh, neighborhoods of Queens. Uh, points, zones on neighborhood points of uh, 235 zones. A five dimension and so possible all possible local germs of two three five distribution up to biholomorphisms. So the modulo biholomorphisms. And here also modulo biholomorphisms. Then uh, these are actually one to one equivalent. There's a canonical one to one equivalent. The ME235 distribution gives rise to a germ of contact line and the other way around. So in particular, if you uh, did I define it? If you define auto of uh, contact line, so you see this structure, this is as a, um, in this setting, you consider vector fields on X uh, in, on the neighborhood of uh, this curve. Then uh, this vector field in the neighborhood of one point preserving D. Uh, these two are canonically isomorphic. Oh, this is natural canonical one to one correspondence means that any vector field in the neighborhood of this curve uh, corresponds to uh, automorphism, uh, infinitesimal automorphism of the 235 distribution and the other way around. This. So let, let me explain what, what is the idea between this correspondence. So this is a sort of a, this pan node transform, typical example. But uh, in my personally, I studied this from algebraic geometry, and later I learned that these are exactly uh, what twister theory people usually study this kind of thing. So how do you make this correspondence? So let's uh, look this direction. So when you are when you have a, a contact line, how do you produce two three five distribution? Uh, a non-degenerate contact line. This manifold M is what's called the Kodaira modular space. A germ of the neighborhood Kodaira modular space. Of deformations. Of C. All deformation of this rational curve inside X. The germ of this space is M. Now, uh, by the standard Kodaira uh, theory, the tangent space of this moduli space at the point corresponding to the curve C, this is canonically isomorphic to the holomorphic sections of the normal bundle. And in our case, because of our definition of a contact line, this is holomorphic section of this bundle. And this contains a distinguished two-dimensional subspace.
in the region. It is just uh, sections of this part of the normal bundle. And so we put this, we define this as DC inside. And this way you obtain a rank two distribution. And uh, it turns out that this non degenerate condition implies that uh, this is this is found. So that's how you obtain certain from contact line, you obtain a two three five distribution. Okay, I just to say I sort of treated it follows from the non degeneracy condition. I didn't explain the real idea. It's rather takes a long time. But this non degeneracy was needed to guarantee that this is two three five. Yes. Yeah. Uh, if the curve is degenerate, then it's uh, it's not two three five, but it's a degenerate two three five. It's a singular point point two. It's an interesting question. It has a, people studied the singular point of this uh, two three five distribution. Okay. So that's how you go from that direction to this. What is, how about the converse? So you you are given a two three five distribution. And then you have a P1 bundle over M. It's a rank two bundle, so its productization is a P1 bundle. And you can identify, because it's rank two, you can identify it with the productization of its dual bundle. And the dual bundle can be, in fact, you can show that this is contained in the productivation of the tangent bundle of M, there's natural embedding. And this has a contact structure, canonical contact structure. Say, let's see, hey. And it turns out that H district to ED, now this is six dimensional. So it cannot have a contact structure. So when you restrict contact structure to here, there's a degeneration. And this has a, a null foliation. You say F of rank one. This you can show. Actually, this part locally was first checked by, uh, proved by this uh, uh, Zelenko and his advisor, Agarachev. So this was a study, this is what they called abnormal extremal of the distribution. So they studied this locally, but we exploit that it is actually over the pion bundle. And uh, because of this, so if, now you put X as the leaf space. This null, null foliation. Then this X inherits a contact structure. From uh, this contact structure. So you take out the, you quotient out by the null foliation. So this H, this descends to a contact structure of X. So this way you obtain contact manifold and uh, the P1 fibers of PD. When you take this quotient, These P1 fibers are sent to uh, sent to 
Now we generate contact lines. So this way you, you obtain a contact manifold with contact line, non-union contact line. So that's the other reaction. It's uh, actually, yes, it's, it's only local in the neighborhood of fiber, one fiber. So the fiber is compact, it can make sense in the neighborhood of fiber, yes. So it's a local complex manifold. Okay, so that explains the crest pandas. And uh, it's there a sort of Yes, yes, I'm exactly I'm trying to say this right now. And the, uh, the most classical example is uh, when dimension of 14, and this is exactly what's happening for the V2, you have this double vibration. You have this double vibration of homogeneous space. And on here, you have a, a two, three, five distribution. And on this side, you have a, a contact, contact bundle. And the, exactly lines on this contact middle. In the lines in the classical sense, this is a, there's a natural embedding, productive embedding. And uh, there are lines lying on this. Space, and they are exactly contact lines and the lines. And this uh, double vibration is exactly this is this, uh, uh, this is PG, the product division of this. So this correspondence is sort of a curved version of this correspondence. But you see that this part is. Uh, uh, this part is parabolic geometry. But this part is not parabolic geometry in the usual sense. Non-regular, okay, I don't know, but for me, okay, you can name, okay, if you like, it's non-regular parabolic geometry. But for me, this is uh, now generalization of the Lusanglian uh, construct. And the one, one interesting point for me was that I studied this kind of object from motivated by complex geometry. I did not know that there are many such examples. But then, uh, because there are many examples of 2, 3, 5 distribution, it provides many such examples. If you look at just this definition, it's not clear why that such a thing exists. It seems very rare. You can locally construct contact manifold, but Contact manifold containing a rational curve, this seems very rare. But this correspondence shows that there are a lot of such objects because uh, there are many two, three, five. Now, what does uh, it, ah, not much time. Now, finally, let me just uh, tell you the relation to the automotive, the original Katang results. Now, uh, if dimension of what is uh, six or seven, one can show that this uh, X is, is locally homogeneous.
um, Zangrian coin structure. So the resulting Zangrian coin structure must be locally homogeneous at the general point because of the dimension count essentially. And one reason behind this is that it's a small result of mine I proved some years ago, which appeared in Abel volume, um, which shows that this algebra uh, this algebra, the algebra auto, the productive linear automorphism with Andrian uh, curve uh, has no prolongation on this. Uh, on this uh, is uh, is P two to the. Uh, here the prolongation is not in the ordinary sense, but it's a compact sense. So because of this, there can't be any extra uh, room for higher automorphism. So this somehow is behind, this is behind this uh, implication. You, you cannot have too high automorphism at one point. So the, the isotropy representation must be uh, faithful. That's behind this. And this also shows that uh, in this case, uh, this automorphism of the hat or the C hat uh, must be at least two. And uh, this uh, implies that uh, the C X hat is. is homogeneous with So one of the both seven dimension and six dimension are with homogeneous, this case locally homogeneous. In both cases, uh, the corresponding Lisandrian uh, code structure must have homogeneous Lisandrian code and a fixed value. And that's what's behind that. I mean, this six dimension examples and the seven dimension examples uh, looks like they have nothing in common, but what's, what they really have com in common is the corresponding Lisandrian uh, curve. They are the same. So that's uh, hidden behind this. So you can see this only when you go to the this uh, Penrose transform transformer, you look at the other side, then you can see that they have this in common. And that explains this. And when dimension is, uh, is seven, and this is uh, equivalent to one dimension of the, the automorphism of this Byzantium uh, constructor of the seven, then the only possibility is that you have this you have this cone and uh, this direction you have a maximal two dimensional symmetry and so there must be this five dimensional symmetry and because of the maximality you can show that this is a flat Lisandrian uh, cone structure. Flat in the contact sense. So this implies that X must be, must include a five dimensional Heisenberg group. So X is, for any value of C, for any value of C, uh, this must be, the base space must be a compactification of, partial compactification of five dimensional Heisenberg group and it X on here, transitively. And then there's a, if you recall that automorphism B, I will C2, and the, this, well, the other, this Heisenberg, 
And this C2 is exactly automorphism of this C C hat. And uh, this direction is the transitive base action of Heisenberg. So that explains why uh, the Lie algebra must have, have this form. So this an answers the two questions I raised at the beginning. Okay, thank you. So you said in the beginning that the two three five story is a real version. What about the contact side? Contact side. Uh I maybe I said the I exaggerated. I expect there's a real version. I do not work out the real case. I'm sorry, but you can you have contact to ah because I mean the the the, the geometry while the protective has been produced. You are right. You are right. Okay, okay. Long. There are technical difficulties. The deformation theory doesn't work in real body. Right. I'm on the same page, but yes. away from the two, three, five to the contact side, yes. actually looks like it, it would work without problem. Yes, yes. This but part, the uh, they worked it out. This is already what this uh, Agra Chapman Jolenko did, <laughs> but they did get it only locally. And they do not know what they, so some Lizandrian curve, what, what they call, was, there's some name for this. But, uh, the problem with that approach is it's very difficult to go back. So the only way to go back is that you have to essentially give the data, local data, but that's not, not calculable in some sense. This was worked out also by Ishikawa or Ishikawa. Locally, they worked it out, but there's no, the correspondence is, for me, incomplete. Do you have complex analytic approaches that non-degenerate uh, this uh, rational lattice? Non-complex analytic? Well, they, you formulated it without lattice. Is it today? No, no, it's uh, non-degenerate itself is uh, just defined without the correspondence uh, by looking at the de deformation. Yes. So maybe, okay, in some sense, looking at deformation is the correspondence. But the non degeneracy I need is uh, um, correspondence. But maybe I can tell you this. Basically, the only degenerate contact line occurs when you consider a uh, projective deviation of two tangent bundle of well, three dimensional manifold. And the li lines lying on the, pro the P, uh, what is it, P2, P2 fibers. These are degenerate lines. Uh, do you, are you following? So you, if you start with some uh, three-dimensional manifold, this is a contact manifold. And typical, the contact line is, in this case, any line lying on this P2 fibers are contact lines, but because they have a normal boundary like O1 plus O1 in the vertical direction and O3 in the horizontal direction. Uh, o, so these are contact lines, but these are the, Contact degenerate contact lines. And it's more or less uh, essentially these are the only degenerate contact lines. But the, the other examples are what as uh, Raja asked that, that it's possible that uh, non degenerate contact line deform to some degenerate contact line. But these are very special. They do not cover all any point, they, they occur at special points. So other than this, if you choose just to general reasonable contact line, then they are always non-degenerate. Yeah, at all points. Uh, no, that's possible, but that have, the degenerate point is a reflection, inflection points. So they are only very special points. So if you want to study general geomet geometry at general point, you can even more uh, degenerate contact line. Yes, yes. Ah, there is actually, th this part I skipped, but there's a corresponding theory in higher dimension. 
and this I discussed in uh, Strasbourg. Well, anyway, there's a corresponding theory in this correspondence. There's a corresponding theory in higher dimension. But uh, on the one hand, you have uh, still you have contact lines. You have to consider contact line, not Luzangrian manifold. Contact lines in higher dimensional contact manifolds. Okay, so these Luzangrian submanifolds are not related. Uh, yes, Luzangria, the formation of Luzangrian submanifold give another structure. 